Okay, I am so excited to share this recipe with you guys. We went ahead and cored 10 to 12 apples, and that's what you see right here. So let's go ahead and set this aside for just a minute, and you wanna bring in a large stock pot. I believe this is a 16 quarts, if I remember correctly. Was yep. that big? Yep. yep, 16. And we have it filled already with about 16 cups of water. So now what we wanna do is add our spices for our apple cider. You wanna add some ground allspice, or if you have, is allspice whole? I'm not sure. Like whole allspice? Whole I don't know. Whole allspice. Some ground or whole nutmeg. Whatever you can find. I couldn't find whole nutmeg at the store, so I'm just using ground stuff. And I'm just seasoning it to my personal preference. Some ginger, ground ginger. Let's go ahead and toss that in. Almost feels like we're making a pumpkin pie. Mm. All right, this is, you know what? I'm gonna open the pour spout if I can. Just don't break your nail. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, don't break a nail, guys, in your apple cider. Some ginger. Now, this is my secret. I'm gonna add some apple pie spice. Nice. Yeah, this is gonna give it a really good flavor. Decent amount of that in there. Some whole cloves. I actually was able to find whole cloves, so Let's go ahead and pour. Now here, because cloves can be a little spicy, I'm adding about one tablespoon of whole cloves. Now let's go ahead and add some cinnamon sticks. Now, again, this is all for preference. I'm going to add one, two, four, six of cinnamon sticks. If you like a good, uh, strong cinnamon taste, feel free to add a little bit more. And now we're gonna add some sweetener. Now here is where you can vary it up a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of brown sugar. You want about a half a cup of sweetener. So I'm going to add a little bit of three different kinds. So I have a little bit of brown sugar. You can use some maple syrup. This is just regular pancake syrup. Add a little bit of that. And last, a little bit of honey. Now not too much honey because when that cook cooks down, you don't want this to get syrupy. So just a little bit of honey. Now I'm gonna go ahead with my ladle and mix this all together. It smells Give it so a good, stir. good. Yeah, right? I mean, I honestly, don't judge me, I could probably drink it like this, but I'm not going to. Give it a good stir. I see some clumps of that, those spices and seasonings, but you know what, that's okay. It's all gonna cook down together and be delicious. Now let's add our apples. Okay, so we have our, I, I picked gala apples, some green apples, and pink lady apples, those are my favorite. And I'm just going to start putting them in. I'm doing this to kind of like save myself from getting splashed. Oh, yeah. So this was 10 to 12. And if you thought that was it, don't worry, there's more. We couldn't fit them all on the cutting board, so I have a few more apples here. Go ahead and just put those in, like so. And. This was an, an ingredient I didn't realize was in um, apple cider. I have two large oranges that have been quartered. And if you want a less tart apple cider, you can go ahead and take the peels off of these. You know, it's pretty easy. You can just peel it like that, but I don't mind that flavor. But just to show you guys, you can just do that with your oranges. Did you guys know that oranges were in apple cider? I honestly thought it was just apples. I had no idea. I had no idea either. So let's go ahead and do our best to, ooh, look at those cloves coming up. Mm, this is gonna be so good. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put this on the stove in your simmer pot or stock pot. Let's go ahead and cover this up and then heat the cider over high heat 
um, until it reaches a simmer. Then we're gonna reduce the heat to medium low and cover heated for about two hours. All right, so it's been a number of hours, but oh, that whoa. smell is absolutely incredible. So let me go ahead and pull up so you know what your fruit is supposed to look like. Mm. Mushy, brown, that's perfect. So now what we're going to do is take a masher or a wooden spoon. You can use either or, but I'm gonna use a masher and very carefully because the simmer pot will still be warm. I don't know if you can see the steam coming off. Um, I'm going to mush now the, the fruit, the apples, the oranges, and it's all very soft. It's been in there long enough. And this actually, it, now it's excreting and like getting all that apple flavor out of the apples and the oranges. It smells unbelievable. The whole house smells unbelievable. Right? Literally, it yeah. It smells like fall. Okay, now you don't need to like excessively mush this, just enough to where, you know, it looks like every big chunk is kind of broken up. But the flavor is there, trust me. So now what you wanna do is you wanna grab a strainer, which I have right here, and another big, bigger pot. I hope I can fit all of this. We might have to do this in a couple, a couple pours. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our large simmer pot, and we are going to pour that over the strainer into the big pot. Okay, my muscles aren't what they used to, used to be. So I'm going to kind of work this around a little bit just so that liquid that can be kind of caught at the top has a chance to float to the bottom, just like so. And now we have our leftover apple cider. My gosh. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try to see if we need to add any more sweetener. So let's go ahead and blow on that. It's gonna be hot. I can feel the steam coming off. It's really good but I think it could use just a little bit more. So like I said earlier, you can use brown sugar, maple syrup, or honey. I'm gonna add a little bit more brown sugar just because the syrup I have is not sugar-free and I don't wanna overdo it on the syrup and change the consistency of our cider here. Makes sense. Gonna give that another stir really quick. I can't wait. This is actually, guys, my first time making apple cider. Have you guys ever made some? Am I doing it right? I, I think I did a pretty good job. Let's go ahead and try it again. Gradually add things and taste as you go. Another thing I learned, I learned from Gordon Ramsay, taste as you go. If you don't, like, how do you know what your dish needs? That's really good. I can taste the tartness from the oranges. So like I said, you can remove the peels of your oranges to take away that tartness. But there you go, guys. We have wonderful homemade apple cider. If you guys make this, let me know how it turns out. I'd love to see if my followers and viewers actually try these recipes, but this one, this one's a must try, I think for, for the fall. Really good.